Hi, in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you how to sync elements in your video to your audio. We're gonna start by creating a new composition using um, the HDTV 1080 preset. And once you've created your composition you can import your audio. Then click right here so that we can see the audio waveform and let's find a good part of the song that we're going to use. Now I want the song to start here so let me just move it like that and let's um, listen to this part of the song. So we've got some nice kicks right here that we want to use. So right now let's right click on the song, um, click on keyframe assistant, um, convert audio to keyframes. And as you can see right now we've got a new null which is called audio amplitude. And if we press U we can see that there's a bunch of keyframes um, added to it. So let's delete the left channel and right channel because I'm not going to use those and we're going to use um, both channels. So right now let's create a new shape layer. So let's maybe draw a rectangle like this. And let's um, delete the stroke. Then let's open up the rectangle path. And let's say that we want um, the width of the rectangle to change um, with the audio. So we're going to Alt click on the size. And the size is a two dimensional value. So we're going to um, type in value. Um, zero um, that's the first value um, the width then we're going to use the pick whip tool to um, link it with uh, this slider so that added this and then we're gonna type in comma value um, one and then we're going to close the bracket so right now we've got an error but that's because we need to um, change this. We're basically going to type value 0 plus um, the audio amplitude. And right now we've got this. As you can see the width is only changing a little bit and that's not enough. So basically we're just going to multiply this value um, by 5. And that should make this look a bit better. Okay. But what if we wanted um, the width only to change um, with these really strong kicks? Um, then we need to use um, the linear expression. So we're going to alt click on the slider and we're going to type in linear. And let me explain you um, how this expression um, basically works. First, you need to type in value, which is basically the value of these keyframes. Um, then we need to open up the graph editor with these keyframes selected. Um, right click and make sure that you have edit value graph. And these right here are the kicks. So we can see that um, the kicks are basically um, above 20 and we don't need anything that's below that value. So now let's type in um, value 20, um, 25 and then let's type in 0, 100 and let's close the bracket. So what um, does this mean? Um, any value that is equal or below um, 20 is going to be 0. Any value that uh, equals 25 or above is going to be 
um, 100. So let's take a look at this now. So with this expression turned on, you achieve a different effect. Um, it's up to you to decide uh, whether you want to use it or not um, in um, your project. Um, other things that you can do is you can link up um, the opacity of your shape layer um, to the audio. So let's just use the pick with tool like that. As you can see now, um, the opacity is also changing um, with the audio. So those are just the basic things that you can do with audio keyframes. You can sync any value to your audio using this method. So that's it for the today's tutorial. Um, if you would like to see more tutorials, then please check out my channel. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.